for those that missed this story on Real Talk Live, I want to make sure everyone out there is aware of what's going on here. We have had a string of low-flying aircraft attempting to cross the border from Mexico into the United States. This has been going on at a jaw-dropping pace. This has been happening for years now, and the one way that they've been detecting them is through these TARS blimps, these aerostats. These are tethered aerostat radar systems. You guys might remember when I was down in Florida, I had flew the drone and caught footage of the one that they have down there stationed uh, off one of their islands. And they only fly these things at certain times, only in good weather. You may recall, here within the past year, one broke loose, I think it was in Pennsylvania. I believe it was the one they had in Pennsylvania. It broke loose and it sailed through Pennsylvania, I think maybe Ohio. I'm not sure where it went, but it flew after it broke its tether for some time. And then they said that they had to shoot it down. They never said exactly how they shot it down. But they brought it down. And it just goes to show that in bad weather, they cannot operate these aerostats. Now, when it comes to Mexico, something else to realize. The government does not have control of the northern territory of the border especially in the desert. It's out of reach of what they surveil. Now, what is very interesting here is that the radar has spotted 335 suspected cross-border attempts by aircraft at low altitude between July of 2014 and June of 2015, and 59 suspected attempts from July 2014 to March 31st. They're saying that the cartels have huge fleets of small planes and that they have established more than 4,700 clandestine runways in Mexico just to ship drugs across the border. So people can be down there patrolling the border all day long. You're never going to see it, anything go, going by when these guys have thousands of airstrips, hundreds of aircraft, and they state that 599 airplanes were seized from the Sinaloa drug cartel alone between 2006 and 2015. That is a fleet that is several times larger than Mexico's largest commercial airline. That's how massive this operation is. And when they go into detail here stating that the government cannot keep track of what's going on in the northern desert, it shows you it's a gateway, wide open. And when our government, our border, our border protection security states, bad weather, these aerostats are down, they only cover a 200 mile radius, when they're brought down, it's wide open. Can you imagine how many flights are making it back and forth? Similar to blow, it's still happening on a massive scale. And you know the alphabet gangs know about this, and it's part of how it's all coming into this country, and people need to see it, and they need to know it. So that's where it sits. I'll leave a link with more info. Keep you guys posted as I come across more. It's been Dabu 7.